Education Source Database is a great place to find information on topics ranging from early childhood education, higher education, and instructional design. To locate articles in this database, you'll want to add keywords to the search box. I'm going to start with academic achievement. So that's quite a broad topic, so in order to get a little bit more specific, I'm going to add the term and school lunch. Now my search was very specific, so I returned about 36 articles, which is pretty good. Now if maybe 36 was too many, you can also go and limit your search. In the limit to section, you can change the publication date range. You can also limit to scholarly peer-reviewed journals. In the source type, you can narrow to magazine articles, which are denoted by the periodical symbol in this database. Magazines are a great place to get an overview of the topic, but if you need something a little bit more scholarly, you can also limit to academic journals. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of those academic journals by clicking on the title. So on this details page, you can access the full text of the article. This article has both HTML and PDF full text. PDF is usually preferable because it will have page numbers to help you do in-text citations. It will also contain any graphs, charts, images from the original article. This page also reveals the title of the article, author and authors, and the source, which includes volume issue number, page numbers, and where the article is published. To make sure that this article is going to work for your research needs, you want to review the abstract, which is basically a short summary of the article. If this is an article that works for your research, it's recommended to go ahead and email yourself that article, that way you don't lose it. In order to do that, click on the email link in the tools section. Here you can add any email address you'd like. Before you send that article, make sure to choose a citation format. Here you'll find APA, Chicago, MLA. And what that's going to do is send you an example citation. Now it's not going to be perfect because it is computer generated. Make sure to watch out for things like punctuation and capitalization, but it will get you started on the right path to your citation. When finished, go ahead and click the send button. Now you'll see an email confirmation, and if you don't see it in your actual email, make sure to check the spam and junk folders. This concludes the Education Source tutorial.